Another tool that ANSYS has developed is the ANSYS EKM, or Engineering Knowledge Manager. This is a tool which allows you to control and manage your simulation data files more effectively than has been able to previously. On the simplest level, for a single user, it allows a method to archive and easily recover data sets that have been produced as part of the simulation. On the right hand side, we can see all of the filters or attributes associated with the data files, which allow us to recover all of the files needed. This can be high level detail of the um, setup within the file or results from the file and allow us a quick overview of the data that's been recovered from the archive. Another useful tool within EKM is the automatic CAE report generation. We described in the slides earlier that with the breadth of physics available in the ANSYS product portfolio, we can allow coupling of many of these types of physics together. This becomes more complicated when we start to look at coupling of physics together. So these types of reports allow a quick overview to understand how these physics are coupled together and the details of the simulation that's been conducted, giving us a single view, in single view level information on what was conducted for that particular simulation. It can also give us additional information, for example, who generated the report, when it was generated, and which product version it was generated in. We can also go a step further than that and look at the results. We can have single um, graphical images of the results that are generated and they can be, be embedded into the automated report. So we can, at a single glance, understand the results that have been generated from that particular simulation without having to um, load and re retrieve and load the files directly into the products themselves. An extended use of EKM is collaboration and workflow modeling. We can build workflows in order for individuals to collaborative, collaboratively use the, um, the simulation data that's been, that's been produced and allow multiple users to interact, for example, with multiple products. So for example, a particular workflow may involve a fluid analysis, a structural analysis, and electromagnetics analysis. Multiple users can be involved in the same workflow and they can each go into the into that particular system, EKM can manage that process and ensure each of the individuals has completed their part of the process before the simulation is complete. These processes can be tracked using an EKM tool to ensure each, each element of the, um, the simulation process has been conducted. In this way, it gives a good management overview of where the, where the simulation is at any, any particular point in time. We can also further extend the capabilities of EKM into hosted applications. This may be useful for people who don't have maybe so much technical knowledge and we can have an interface which interacts with EKM in the background and then points out to the individual um, products for parts of the simulation. And from this hosted application, we can have much more meaningful information for the actual end user.